I'm guessing this is the other side of the debate. Uh, Ethan didn't do well, to be honest. Um, so let's see what Crowder has to say about it. This one says unedited as well, so... Yeah, because this mic hasn't been adjusted, guys. Hold on, let me adjust this, because I have to set it to human height since Dave is doing it. I can see some weird contact thing there. Okay. Right. <clears throat> All right, let me check this. Check one, two, three. Good. All right. Okay. You guys are gonna call him and sound check him. Yeah. I. Uh, I bet this guy's gonna do anything he can to avoid actually debating. Yeah. I think he wants to do anything he possibly can to avoid. Uh, yeah. I, I mean, I don't know. Wait, when like, you want me to admit him into the room, I'll just do that. Sure. Well, I'll, yeah. I'll just say you guys do the sound check. And I don't want to sit there and talk with their producer Dan and stuff. But I don't think this guy wants to do this. I wouldn't be surprised if you. He's probably going to bring someone else on. Was his producer like a fan of that uh, Cedar character? Yeah, that'd be my bet, but hey, hopefully he mans up. Okay, you can do your sound check. Alrighty, here we go. Yeah, I'm going to sit right here while you guys. Okay. All right. Hey, guys, can you hear us? Hello. Hey, how's it going? You hear us well, or? Oh, uh, yeah, I can hear you just fine. Perfect. You and you? Yeah, you you guys sound good. Okay, great. Who am I speaking with? Uh, this is producer Tim. Tim? Yes. Hi, Tim. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Are you one of the guys that dresses up in the crowd, or are you not on on uh, on screen? Uh, I'm running the audio board. Okay. Yeah. Are you, okay. So you're not the Peter Pan guy or anything like that. Peter Pan? No. <laughs> no. You're already starting off. Hold on one second. We'll, we'll get Steven here momentarily. Right. You know, okay. Thank you. Attitude. Oh. Did Dave, Dave leave food crumbs on this thing? It's like a crescent moon of filth. Hi, Steven. Hey, Ethan. How you doing, brother? Hey, I just want to say on a serious note that I'm glad your um, your wife is okay. I heard you had a little bit of a yeah issue thanks. with your wife. Well, she's uh, she's pregnant with twins, so yeah. it's like uh, well. By the way, congratulations too. I know you guys are thank you in the same process. It's a whole thing. Yeah. They 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 switch Can you and turn they down a little bit. Oh, sorry. Am I too loud for you? Uh, no, I just told Dan, our producer, to turn the volume down a little bit. Oh, You're so good. I'm gonna take out my gum. Yeah. Yeah. They switch and they breach, and so. Uh, she They're actually, rolling around. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I mean, at first they said C-section, and they oh, said, no. oh, we might be able to do a natural birth, but they often do C-section. And then they said, oh, yeah. And then they said, no, wait, now the other one's breached. And the boy is just a dick. He just will not stop huh. kicking the other one. It's like a, I would say it's like a junior suite apartment. He keeps kicking the girl. And so then the girl wakes up. So, Oh. Yeah. So how, how far in is she? She's due uh, late July, early August. Oh, wow. That's coming right up. Yeah. And I've got a big. This is weird. Because I really don't sense phony interest on Ethan's part. Like, I do genuinely, like, I thought maybe, at first I thought, is he just saying this to sort of, like, make himself look good? But he didn't actually put that on his show, I don't think. Well, not what I saw. And he does actually seem, like, quite genuine in asking about that right and he seemed it truly like he was looking at him so it's weird it's weird to have that friendly thing but Jordan Peterson said that about the what's it the interview where sh that bird attacked him um well it's always them but the channel 4 one innit it and he said the same like she was nice as pie and when it come to showtime 
it was like a complete change and she started just attacking. But yeah, this is weird that I don't sense foaminess in it. Surgery, July 1st, so I'm trying to get everything done in a, in a hurry. Is that your first? It is. Uh, yeah, oh, wow. it is. Yeah, we talked about it on the show quite a bit. My wife, so my wife had a basic operation for, um, well, I won't talk about it. She probably won't, but basically then she woke up with something called GBS. Um, mm -hmm. So we kind of, it wasn't really fertility issues. It was a physical issue. Mm -hmm. And GBS actually paralyzes you from the, the waist down. So That's what she was experiencing? Yeah, when she came out, just because they Holy put her under anesthesia. And so it's interesting, like, you know, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm like a, a pro-vaxxer, generally speaking, but she can't even get a flu shot. It's one of the few conditions because of the GBS. It's like a neurological condition mm. where she has to be careful with any vaccine. So mm. it's just been a weird navigation. But this is your second, right? Yeah, this is going to be our second. So we've been we've been through it. Yeah. But uh, and it's just one. It was supposed to be three, but they the one child cannibalized everyone and he has gained their uh <laughs> their uh, energies to become the ultimate uh, human being. I feel like that's what happens with the uh, that's what happened with the Olsen twins. I'm convinced that one of them is evil, and one, one of them, them ate the third one. Yeah, something happened there. Really, it seems like whenever you see them in pictures, there's one who's more disturbing. But uh, <laughs> maybe you're right. But all right, man. Well, I pre I appreciate you coming on and doing this, and you know, doing this. Uh, a lot of people don't, so just talking, you know, avoiding kind of the, the social media pissing contest drama. Um, so uh yeah are you ready to ready to go just so i just want to uh, make one clarification so in terms of so we're both going to record it and then we can use it wherever we want on your show on my show whatever right yeah That's yeah you can, okay yeah and we can send you the file if we want because we have the master file everything so um oh we're, yeah we're i think we're good right dan we're recording it on our end okay okay yeah we've never used zoom either we we uh did you ever get sold on that skype tx box remember when that came out Oh no, I dude, I've always had such a pain with Skype that I um, Zoom has always been really good. This is so, so weird. Well, the Skype TX yeah. box was like from New Tech, I think, and they sold mm. us on that. They said this is what Jimmy Kimmel uses and all these people. And uh, Skype, well, really? Skype TX, it's like a box. That's like it's almost like remember the Comrades boxes? No, it sucks. So what, oh, we, yeah. what, we, what we've had to do is we just have Mac Minis set up. And we've, mm. Skype has played well with those, but not the exclusively designed Skype TX box that we paid whatever Got premium it. for. Yeah, so. Skype. I don't trust Skype. Skype has always sucked. Yeah. All right. Well, um, I'll just. Uh, <laughs> oh, and then so, so um, okay. So we're gonna record it, and um, and then the topics are just like, uh, just we said um, about authority with the vaccine, and um, there was something else you mentioned. I don't know how. On well, I just thought, it. yeah. However, you want to do it. I thought that since that was kind of the subject that yeah, that got us sense. into a tiff, that we could talk about sort of the CDC, sort of you know medical authorities, and yeah. you can tell me where you disagree with me, and then also um, kind of big tech because that ties in, you know, with the CDC yeah. and World Health Organization. And uh, okay. I'll just sort of I'll introduce it to my, uh, you know, I have a little bit of a different audience to so let them know kind of who you are, what's going on, and if you want to do the same, that's fine. But uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, of course, okay. we'll let them know. All right. Okay. Go. And, uh, so, all right. I'll give you a countdown, and then I'll uh, three, two. All right. Okay. I'm really glad to have uh, my next guest on the show. And I've always said this. I always respect people who um, enter the enter into the arena. Um, and you know, we've had a lot of debates on this show, which is different from like a change my mind where we sit down and have conversations. But uh, my old Brazilian jiu-jitsu coach always said, "If you come a switch, we go switch. You go spicy, we're gonna do a little spicy." So we always try and uh, keep it as respectful as possible. And I really do appreciate the guy making the time because a lot of people haven't. has a huge YouTube channel, several YouTube channels, one of the OGs. Mm. A lot of people watch him. Uh, you know him. Some of you like him. Some of you don't. Same can be said for me. Ethan Klein from H3H3. I have to say, uh, was Ethan, a thank, more thanks, man, for making respectful. the time. You're very welcome. And I just want to say, Ethan I know you called really me. You said that I would be a layup. He's a racist. He's <laughs> I, I think I, I used something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you're right because I don't think I'm a very good debate. That's almost quite, yeah. Because you think about it, he just talked to him like on a level and then introduced him as a racist, homophobic, sexist. And it's like, if you think all them things are so terrible, why would you have that back and forth discussion with him? Right. Because a racist, a homophobic, and a sexist is saying that it's like bad to be. So why would you just want to talk to someone like that? Like, Obviously, if you want to debate them, that's fair enough. But why would you want to be like, oh, how's your wife? And it just seems weird. Later, I think you know that. 
So uh, I didn't want to make it too easy for you. Oh, okay. So uh, I prepared. Okay. Yes. All right. So what we so were going to talk about is uh, what we were going to talk about is you know the initial quote that happened. I think he's looking off there. Uh, the initial quote that kind of was turned into um, a little bit uh, of a meme, which wasn't intentional, and uh, was you saying you don't even have to think about it regarding the CDC. Hmm. Uh, and I disagree with that. Um, I think people should think about it. I believe. And we set, talked about this through playful ribbing in an aggregation of medical authorities and scientific voices to make an informed and rational decision. Um, so where do you think that, I was, that I'm wrong on that? Stephen, do you know that um, the Spartans are, that they are like uh, practice man love with children? Oh, geez. Okay, so this is what's going to happen. I to what did I tell you? He was going to do anything he could to avoid. Oh, oh, there he is. Oh no, Sam Cedar! What a what, what a f***ing nightmare! Thank you, Stephen. I had no idea this was going to happen. I he thought I that. thought Ethan was a stand-up guy. This is where we oh, are. Yeah, well, I told Dave. Dave, remember I told you? I told you. I said this is. I guarantee you, he's going to do anything he can to avoid the debate. Well, I just think he believes that he should debate you. No, no, he doesn't. He just takes advantage of of women with you know mental health issues. Stephen, Ethan Klein doesn't you know stand what? up and do to his own on fighting. Me. I gotta say, bring it's just hilarious. Oh, Let's bring on FM. That you would uh, do anything to avoid talking to me. I think you're. The point Does yes, that include right. Joe Rogan? Yeah, Joe Rogan and, and Dave Rubin Rubin and, and, Dave ben Rubin and Jordan Peterson and Noam Chomsky and Sam Harris. Everyone's been avoiding. And not just attempting <laughs> to get Peters. your audience <laughs> by jumping <laughs> in. Well, I, I debated <laughs> with uh, Stephen. I mean, okay. it's about issues. It's about issues, yeah. Those issues. That's what you're doing you here. Some valid yeah. points. You're so clever. I had no idea that you were taking your show off early last time, coming in today with your pig pen peanuts eyes. I wish every. <laughs> you take those off with the velveteen they really are, buttons? They're just well, you black must have been eyes, very worried about like this, Stephen. I don't know no why. No one's worried no, about on, it. It's Sam. I didn't want to do it. Well, let's, let's Sam, have the come debate. on. Just, I'll no tell you what. I have, a general, I have a general rule. This is a great opportunity. I don't opportunity start a debate based with people on a lie. And how about, you get sabotaging. To a, how about you get to a 30th Stephen, of the audience show yourself, Howard. Stephen, show yourself. A 30th of the audience. Ethan, you should show yourself. Ethan, Ethan, how can you respect yourself as a man, brother? You believe in something so strongly that you're you're not willing to debate. Stop showing your little leprechaun this Right, right. Hey, Ethan, 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 come on. Ethan, why do you have to bring on a guy who has a 30th Stephen, of the viewership of yourself? The saddest thing I've ever heard. So you have a guy Just with less Stephen. viewers to come on to debate him because you can't? <laughs> Well, why don't you get I'm apparently he had to think about it bro I'm a, if i'm a yeah, layup to think and not a debater it. well look you're the yeah, one who you're called, the one, you're the one who got the personal debate. started you're the one that got angry about it look the debate. Debate. hold on a second all right hold on let me let me let me hear what let me hear what pig pen has to say here really quick fair enough um but ethan ethan look i i don't hold on a second ethan this is because initially i came out here to talk with ethan ethan come on man look the same reason that I haven't ever had a conversation with Sam Cedars, the same reason that uh, Joe Rogan, uh, Sam Harris, Brett Weinstein, Dave Rubin, Ben Shapiro don't owe him anything. It's based on a lie, Ethan. Just like you What's claiming my... Ethan, What's you claiming lie? my booker What's reached lie, out Stephen? to you, Ethan, when you know that's Stephen, not true. What's the lie? There's no one ducking you, lie? Sam. Why I've you never... So Sam, 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 no, listen, Sam, Sam, Sam. I, I can call guy. out Mike Tyson. It doesn't mean that I'm ducking you him. You are so worried about Why do you feel that... Why do you feel that anyone... Sam, why do you feel that anyone... Yes. So you have gone on and you've done the same thing with other other comments. Everyone who has a bigger audience than you. Because um, you you yeah. is he still on? We have the math no no I cut him off. We, off see, your glasses. we just want to see if I just want to see if you take him off if you have the if you have the Velveteen Rabbit buttons. That's the no, only thing I'm curious say. about. It's no, the only interesting I, part about Or if there's a soul. I, just take off the debate. take off the glasses. Let's debate. Don't hide Stay behind the glasses, the glasses Sam. Don't, Don't say let's debate, will, Ethan. You've lost that up. Ethan, you lost your debate. All right, this debate is sad. Is this is why we don't Ethan, have shut up. Debate, <laughs> All right, good. You guys are good. Thank you. Appreciate Bye. it. Bye. Won't even take off the glasses. Bye. All right, yeah, you can, uh, you can give up the axe. This is... <laughs> I knew it. The guy just thought. Was that all right? The guy thought that, no, we're still going. The guy thought that we had no, I mean, we have the master, uh, Corey Blackout, can you put on your, your microphone? Yeah. Is he still on? We have the math. no, no, I cut him off. We have the master file. We knew. Yeah. And this is exactly what happens. Like someone like a Sam Cedar who just. <laughs> he didn't even he wait. He never lets you speak. I like how just, he goes, your little leprechaun co-host, because he's still mad that I said he looked like a transgender Wayne and Clark. <laughs> you know, that's just been eating at him for the last month. Well, you know, and this is the thing, too. 
is um, I don't do, we don't do debates based on a lie. Like I can call out Mike Tyson, I can call out Evander, it doesn't mean anything, Wait, right? right? Yeah. And so when someone says, hey, you said you would do this, and you just admitted that of course there's no proof of that. Well, I heard this from so and so. Yeah, but there's no evidence. We'll bring up, uh, we can bring up here the direct messages with, I hate to do this, but with Ethan it was, hey, We'll talk, you and I, man yep. to man, no one else will come in. As a matter of fact, I was going to say, if I have my phone, I can take a picture right here. So there's no prompter. It's just no. him on a, on a call. And he's terrified. <laughs> I don't know how someone like that can live their life as a man. Well, he um, just also talked very cordially to you about family. Oh, yeah. About every, but what I really hate about that is then he immediately pulled it. Which shows no character, no class, a complete manipulation. Yeah, look, but here's the thing: he has a show that's dwindling. No one cares about it. But and if, so then he just he wants the drama, and I actually want to yeah. have a conversation. But I'm not going to have a conversation. Here's my cutoff: it, a general <laughs> serious rule. Yeah, one twentieth of the audience. Otherwise, oh. I have no time in the day, and I'm debating every Twitter egg. Well, right. But here's my point of how you win something very, very easily. Your whole point is: is you're talking about a that you have questions about. Right. He claims that something you don't even have to think about. That's a bold statement to make. So when you go to challenge him on that, his side has to explain why he feels that way. So he sneaks in another guy yep. because he doesn't feel that way. You have a holster, way. bro. He's bought and paid for. <laughs> you have a holster, you have a holster, holster bro. bro. Yeah. That yeah. was his argument. Let me show you how, how to use it. <laughs> you don't have to think about it, dude. And he's, yeah. and he's, uh, and what is, I real, here's the thing. I was really curious, too. And then we'll, we'll go back to... The show, I guess. Um, I was really curious from someone like like H three H three, who well, you know, Quarter Black, you used to watch him. Yeah. Um, made his bones. I mean, he has fifteen million dollars worth of home of real estate in yeah. Los Angeles. He made it all with anti-social justice warrior mm -hmm. content. You know, triggering feminists, yeah. snowflakes, and then, and not only that, but he was more aggressive than me. If you go back and watch, he talked about how he was demonetized. Yeah, he was you pretty know, aggressive. He used the word like a fifty lot. times, and like with context, lot. just said, "I just love saying the word." Um, which, you know, it's not Very really couched well. in a joke. It no. It's just him saying it. Can you get millions of dollars for that? Well, what and, he was, yeah. and I remember him back in the day, and I used to, I didn't really like his content, but I remember I supported him where he said, hey, YouTube should actually find a way to monetize my content yeah. that's edgier and older because networks would be lining out the door for older male content. So he was actually more aggressive in fighting the corporate censorship mm -hmm. than me. And then one meeting with Susan Wojcicki, and he brags on his show about how he has the YouTube VP on, on text, on speed dial. And all of a sudden he's saying, all lives matter yeah. is something that people shouldn't be allowed to say. That our attack on him is bordering on medical misinformation. That people should be deplatformed. I don't understand, people change their mind. I'm really curious though, when you see someone who makes their entire living, who builds up their brand and their empire on anti-wokeness, on anti-corporate yeah. censorship, who then does a 180 and supports it at every turn. And I thought we would have had a good opportunity to discuss that, specifically Ethan and myself, not yeah. Sam Cedar, because, you know, Ethan was the one who said we should go with the CDC and World Health Organization. Yeah. He was the one who had the argument. Those are the big tech. Those are the big tech guidelines. Ethan didn't debate you for eight seconds. No, <laughs> he was immediately he went like immediately uh, to anybody, this, qu quick, quick, quick to Sam oh, Cedar. Whatever. You know. All right. <laughs> well, well, I gotta be honest. I never heard of till now. Not that it matters if you've heard of anybody. But the only thing I've ever I, heard of I heard of him because of the fact that he started, you know, trolls with a lie that I didn't I thought he was Seth Simmons, that guy who, <laughs> ha who makes bird calls and said Norm MacDonald wasn't I swear to God, that's who I thought it was. The Goodyear guy? Yeah, uh, yeah, the guy who, he got my friend Shane kicked off of SNL. Oh, oh yeah, that, that guy. guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's who I thought it was. I mean, granted, it's kind of him, but it's a different <laughs> person. <laughs> I just, I just think it's I feel, honestly. I feel like it's. it's yeah. uh, it, it is kind of sad. Um, yeah, it is kind of sad. Well, here's point. an idea. Maybe just take the joke that we turned it into a soundbite. Yeah. Stop being so pissed off. Well, I and, think there are going to be quite a few more sound bites uh, of Ethan on the soundboard. So <laughs> yeah, maybe. So. Uh, let's uh, continue on with the kind of show that uh, someone like H3 would never be capable of doing. You know, not only just that. Remember, we provide references for you. So, mm. on with the show. Well, yeah, crowd of one. I knew that really from the last one. I just wanted to see what he had to say. Um, yeah, he definitely won that. That Ethan looked. I don't. Well, like I say, I, I don't really know a lot about Ethan. I probably know more about Crowder, and even that's not a lot. I watched a couple of his changed my mind or whatever it is. I've watched him. He's just one of them that pops up, and he. But he smashed, well, so he smashed that. He didn't actually really get a chance at the debate. But 
even definitely push it out. Let me know if anyone watches this, if you actually think Ethan won that, why you think he won that? Why you think that was a good thing for him to do? Just... Be, uh, sweet. 